Hello, I'm Christine from Open the Book Team and I'm here to tell you the story today. Now we often hear stories about brothers and sisters not getting on with one another, about arguments, and these are usually when you're younger, arguing over a toy or something like that. But as you grow older, things get better. But today we're going to have a story about two brothers who didn't get on at all. And the story this morning is called The Bad Brother. But before we get on to the story, shall we start with the rap? Let's open the book. Let's take a look. Let's listen and see how good God can be. Let's take a look. Let's open the book. Let's listen and see how good God can be. Oh, let's take a look. Let's open the book. Let's listen and see how good God can be. The Bad Brother Isaac had two sons. The oldest son's name was Esau, which means hairy. And the youngest son's name was Jacob, which means something like cheat. Isaac liked Esau the best because he was big and strong and hairy and could hunt. One day, when Isaac was old and blind, he asked Esau to go and kill an animal, cook the meat and bring it to him. When he had done that, he promised, I shall tell you what you will get after I die. So Esau ran off, his bow slung over his shoulder and his hunting knife in his hand. But he was in such a hurry that he didn't notice his mother, Rebecca, hiding behind the tent. Which son did Rebecca like best? Jacob, of course. Partly because he stayed at home to help her and partly because he was clever and sneaky, just like her. Rebecca decided then and there that Isaac's promise to Esau should go to Jacob instead. So she went and found Jacob. Together they plotted and planned. And in no time at all, Isaac had a visitor with a steaming plate of meat. Back so soon, my boy? My, that meat smells delicious. Bring it here at once, Esau. The son brought the meat to his father. The son set it down, but the son was not Esau. Here you are, father, said Jacob, in as gruff a voice as he could muster. But the old man wasn't fooled. Isaac may have been blind, but he was not yet deaf. Is that really you, Esau? Come here and let me touch those hairy arms. Jacob came closer. He stretched out his arms and wrapped around them were the hairy skins of an old goat. Isaac touched the arms. He felt the hairy skin and he smiled. It is you, Esau, he said. Well then, here is my promise. When I am gone, you will have my land and grow many crops. And besides that, I'm putting you in charge of the whole family. They must do whatever you tell them. Jacob could hardly believe it. So when his father had kissed him, he ran off to tell his mother. And it was a good thing, for not a minute later, Esau came to his father with another plate of meat. I'm back, he said cheerfully, and I can't wait to hear your promise. What? exclaimed Isaac. I've already given my promise away. And he told Esau what had happened. Esau listened, and bit by bit his face grew as red as his hair. Jacob, he shouted, you cheat. 
One day I'll get you for this. But God was watching and he had something very different in mind. Now the next part of that story you'll hear next week. So Jacob tried to get something that didn't belong to him, didn't he? He didn't care about that he was stealing from his brother. And then when he was scared of his brother, that he had to run away and leave home. And it was wrong for Jacob to trick his father and to cheat his brother, wasn't it? Close your eyes and imagine how upset Isaac and Esau must have felt. And how do you feel when someone plays tricks on you that aren't very nice? Now I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, we are sorry if we have cheated on our friends or taken what does not belong to us. Please forgive us and help us to be honest in everything we do. Amen. So I hope you take that story on board and have a good week at school and we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye bye.